My fellow St. Lucians, as we continue to manage this COVID-19 pandemic, with the presence of the deadly, more transmissible Delta variant, the government of St. Lucia recognizes the efforts of all who are adhering to the COVID-19 protocols and those of you who are trying your very best to ensure that the community and your families adhere to the protocols. However, we are still at a critical phase and we need to continue to do more to reduce the transmission rate of the virus. After discussions and dialogue with the members of the Common Center, the decision was made to extend the COVID-19 protocols currently in place for another seven days. The extended protocols shall commence on Wednesday, September 15, 2021 and end on Tuesday, September 21, 2021. The COVID-19 protocols are as follows. 1. Curfew will be in effect Monday to Friday from 7 p.m. and ends at 4 a.m. Saturday curfew starts at 4 p.m. and ends on Monday, 4 a.m. This means that there will be a 24-hour curfew on Sunday. 2. Suspension of the sale and disposal of intoxicating liquor at bars, rum shops, and restaurants. 3. Sale and disposal of intoxicating liquor from a supermarket, gas station, or wholesaler with a valid liquor license will be permitted. No consumption of intoxicating liquor will be permitted on licensed premises. 4. Suspension of dine-in services at restaurants and food establishments. Takeaway, grab-and-go, and delivery services will be permitted. 5. Recreational social activities at hotels will be permitted on property during curfew hours, provided that such activities take place on property. Water sports and other water-related activities, such as boat rides, skiing, etc., must be suspended during the 24-hour weekend curfew from Saturday 4 p.m. to Monday 4 a.m. During this period, the government of St. Lucia will meet with stakeholders and the newly reconstituted COVID-19 Management Center to review the COVID-19 situation and provide a further update on the protocols. The government of St. Lucia continues to consult to find ways to cushion the impact of the protocols on those businesses who have been affected and who will be impacted. Let us all continue adhering to the protocols to reduce transmission of the COVID-19 virus and return to some level of normalcy. I thank you.